Hey guys, Evdo here, and today I'm back for an all new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a scoreboard on Minecraft. Now, there are a number of different scoreboards you can make for a number of different factors. The main, the main three I'm going to be covering today are going to be kills, the number of deaths, and actually your player's health. And you can display them in different ways. You can have them in a list format when you hit press the tab button, or you can have them appear along the side of your screen. Now, the way you would do this is through multiple different commands. One will be to create a certain uh, factor and the, the other will be to display it. Now I'll be going through each one individually all of them will be in the description for you to copy and paste into your into your world as well because it's the exact same command you won't have to change hardly anything. There's one thing you can change and that is simply your preferred name of that factor. You can change it to whatever you want. I'll show you the first one now so it makes a little bit more sense. So here's the first one. This is for creating a kills scoreboard and by total kill count this refers to both kills of mobs and players alike. So it would just be slash scoreboard objectives, which is pretty much how I think every one of them starts with that. Add, and then this bit here, kills, if I just highlight this bit a second, this is just my preferred name. I could name that anything I wanted. If you want it to be two words, you have to have an underscore. So generally try and stick to one, else the, the underscore might look a little bit weird. And then total kill count is going to be your total, you know, that is the fact that you have to put in total kill count. That has to be exactly as it is. It's really annoying, but for whatever reason the K has got to be capital and the C has got to be capital. If you change it slightly for whatever reason it doesn't work. So you would create that, in fact I may as well just click the button and now I would create the kills. However at the moment I can't see them so you know what's the point if I can't see them? So the way you would uh, make it so you can see them is through the second one here. Now it's slash scoreboard objective set display. The D has to be capitalized again. Why that is I guess it has to just be specific because it's kind of like code in a way but you know make sure you've got that right sidebar is just the option I've gone for you can have sidebar list or I think it's below below name that one only works on multiplayer though so I won't be covering that one today I will put it in the description if you are playing multiplayer but I won't actually be showing a physical example because I actually can't seeing as my multiplayer and then I've got kills now this is just this is just the name I've given it has to be identical and when that is done I will then have that. Now, of course, I do need to get a kill before I can see it. Hit the chicken, and there it goes. I've got kills on the side, I've got Efdo 1. Now, if I was playing with other friends, they got kills too, then their names would appear on as well. Because if you noticed in the command, none of these have at P, none of them have my name. This applies to everybody. So I've got kills nicely on the side there. Obviously, if I racked in some more kills, that number's going to go up. Let's move on to deaths. Let's quickly get rid of some chicken. And here we go, so again, slash scoreboard objectives, this time add deaths, now the deaths again, it, I could have changed that to anything, but this bit has to be the same, and that is death count. C again has to be capitalised, and once you've done that, you can create a death count. And this one I'm going to be choosing to use the list display instead. So again, it's pretty much the same, it's actually quite nice, you you might think initially when you start thinking about I wanted to create a scoreboard, it's going to be quite complicated, but in actual fact these commands follow a nice pattern and they generally once you start to know maybe even one of them you kind of know the rest of them already so you've got slash scoreboard objectives set display again the D has to be capitalized that it, I, I'm emphasizing that because that can be really annoying if you miss it out because it won't make any sense why it's not working because you think it's identical but it is something as little as that will change it and then list deaths so once I've done that hit that and then if I hit the tab button I can now see the number of my deaths so at the moment it's of course zero, if I were to die it would go up. Now here's one, this was actually my personal favourite, this last one. Now here we got the health scoreboard objective. Now health has to, it has to be lowercase this time, but this one I can, I can call this anything. I've chosen health because obviously that would make sense. So I create health, and what this actually shows you, it shows you how many hearts you have. Now the, this one works really well in the list, so I'm going to do that now. And you'll notice that Oh, you have to take damage, that is something. You'll notice that my deaths have gone. You can't have two in the same category, which is a little bit annoying. I shouldn't have uh, changed back to game of one there. There we go. And then I'll take some hearts. It'll only appear once you've first taken hearts, and then it will remain there constantly. It's actually really nice. I didn't expect it to be in actual visible format. I thought it would be in you know, in actual numerical values. But in actual fact, you do have like an extra row of hearts. Now, of course, on single player, that's not too much use because you have your hearts at the bottom. But if you're playing maybe something like UHC or you're playing with some friends on multiplayer you know something like Hunger Games you can see how many hearts everybody else is on really quite quickly because you don't have to look at them and read the number it's literally just numer it's not numerical it's just imagery and you can quickly see how many hearts your players have and it's actually it actually updates really fast now if I were to 
chuck in a golden apple you'll see that once I eat the golden apple it will actually increase as I get the absorption it like literally updates within a second which is really quite effective I didn't expect it to be that up to date which is quite good now for whatever reason if you wanted to remove one of these you would simply use this last command here let's get rid of the particle effects quickly because else they're getting in the way a little bit aren't they now the last one is going to be quite useful if you make one that you don't want or you accidentally say you put in kills but you spelt kills wrong or something like that just a random typo and you wanted to get rid of it and start again so then you would just do slash scoreboard objectives remove and then I've got health here because that's the name that I chose for the health category now let's say it was kills I would just change this to kills and I'd hit that and it would remove it hope you found this video helpful or in any way informative and if you have Please just take one second, hit the like button below, and thanks for watching.